Breaking news, Baba Hanan. North has paid a huge price because of Buhari. I'm glad you're saying these things because it doesn't feel very much like that. If you guys feel you have paid a huge price, then speak out. It feels very much like it's the South that wants Buhari out. You guys, you're, you're being you're tribalism, region, you know, uh, religion, and a host lot more that plays out in Nigerian government. It's not making you guys speak the truth and say it as it is. Muhammadu Buhari is not competent to be Nigerian's president. It's clearly showing in the administration and how he's administering leadership in the country. The North has not only paid a huge price, they have paid the utmost price. Yet, you guys keep quiet, fold your arms and say, eh, but it's from the North, let the North have her turn. Why can't less number of people are dying? So, I don't understand who you're complaining to, to be very candid. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Thank you. Baba Hanan, Matt, North has paid a huge price because of Buhari. We are tired. Dr. Hakim Baba Hamed in a, is a retired federal permanent secretary and presently the director of publicity and advocacy for Northern Elders Forum. In this interview, he spoke on the use of restructuring as a political weapon to pressure the North against 2023 2023, the security challenges in the North and why negotiation and amnesty may be visible option to end insurgency and banditry. I think restructuring has been abused and used as a political weapon. It has been used as a shorthand for the use to address the inadequate limitation and weaknesses of the Nigerian federal system. One of the wrong thing about this federal system is that we put too much emphasis on the central the second worst thing is that it is powered by the constitution that makes changes very difficult so those who throw their restructuring around are doing so largely because they see it as a means not necessarily to achieve a major change and there are those who believe that it should achieve short-term political goals like 2023 presidency. So restructuring is simply, in simple term, is a genuine population of legitimate demand of large number of Nigerians to address the way the Federation exists. Removed from the current context where it is being used as a means of settle scores, against group or achieve political aim. Restructuring is a very big thing for Nigeria and it should not be taken lightly. The Northern Elders Forum accept that Buhari has not done well. He has made this country worse than any other person have. As a matter of fact, the North has paid a huge price. Do you know how many people die in a single day? Not everything is reported in the news. And yet this goes unnumbered, unnoticed. People are losing it every day. The North has been marginalized. Buhari only empowered those he feels should get it. And he has surrounded himself with those who do not tell him the truth. We, the North, have suffered the most in this very administration. And this is why we know the rise for sectioning has come on board. Yes, we agree with one Nigeria. We will want Nigeria to stay as one. But if Nigeria destroyed today, parts of the country will suffer it. The North, for instance, have benefit from the South, as well as the South from the North. So if we all call for dissolution of the regions, everybody goes on their own. How will that profit us? In the long and short of it, it will not profit any, on any of us. We all need one another. That's why the North continue to say, we stay together as one at all costs. We know that there are challenges, but these challenges can be surmounted if we work together as one. Dividing the country and stating that there is no need for everybody to stay together as one, we don't think is the way forward. That's why we are against sectioning. 
The Southern mm -hmm. governors have mm -hmm. come together to say they want 2023 presidency. It is achievable if everybody can truly work together. But we must not be threatened to accept their terms and conditions. This is what the North is saying. In this country, the North has suffered most from this administration than any other person. The North is the one bleeding most. So people should not think that Buhari has been good to the North. He has not been. As a matter of fact, we can't wait for this administration to be over. We've started it already. It has to come to an end someday. And this is what we are waiting with anticipation. So we know the genuine cry for the, from the people, but we are saying we can still stay together as one. So these are Northern elders speaking and saying that, um, yes, the North has suffered a lot. Uh, lots of things are going on. They have said that Buhari has failed. With emphasis, I had to post this so it can sink in. They have said that Buhari has failed, and as a matter of fact, they have suffered more in this administration than any other person. We're not arguing with you if you have suffered. Now, if you think you've really suffered, and so why can't we just put a competent hand that can steer things right in the right direction? There you go again. The nepotic attitude. The, it's my brother. Although he's doing the wrong thing with confidence, uh, he's from the north. As a matter of fact, Northern Elder, Northern, uh, the Awa conservative said, Buhari must, I mean, in fact, after Buhari's tenor, they still have one more tenor to go. That the South has gotten it for 14 years. Uh, while Buhari ends into just be 10 years. Because late Omar Arayadua died, uh, good luck Jonathan completed his tenure, and this is why they cannot allow the South to have it yet. You see all these things, you see all these, all these things. If you say the North has truly suffered, then let's call a spade a spade. Let's address it as it is, let's give it its name, and let's move forward. Let's move forward with things that matter. Let's stop disturbing ourselves with unnecessary things. Don't have a meeting, and or the purpose of the meeting is to see how the other region know. But the, even the Bible says, comparing yourself with another, you are not wise. You are not a wise person. Eh? You know, in a relay race, relay, as soon as you look at the other person, you step on the line. The line is as thin as that. Face your front, follow your clock, and you will achieve a lot more better rather than comparing. This is the problem we have today. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Remember, you have a voice. Do not allow anyone intimidate you. We all must stick together if we must achieve this purpose. You know, we must stick together as one and not allow ourselves to be intimidated. God bless you. Bye for now.